Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. Here I am today in front of my lemon meringue tree that I love. And I'm just loaded with all these trees, running out of space, but love the different varieties of all the different mango trees. And years ago, I was at a, a nursery and I met a guy there who was telling me about more than one tree in a hole to get a different variety of a whole bunch of trees. Later on, I met to meet people that were growing four or five trees in one hole. Well, this first person told me about three trees in one hole, and I've never done it yet. I'm thinking about it, but I recently visited his house slash nursery, and I saw what he was talking about. Several years ago, he planted three trees in one hole, and I was always curious about how that turned out. And last year, they fruited for the first time. And we're going to hear today on the show exactly why he did that and how and what selection he picked of the varieties to do that and his thinking behind it, and also how it turned out and his future plans for that. So here we go with three trees in one hole. Check it out. Middle. This is a three, a triple mango tree. We I took, told you about that. We took three different mangoes and we put them in the same, we planted them right next to each other. All right, so this is great here. So this is why I'm here. Rob, so, Rob taught me a lot. Rob, this is, this is Zane, the owner of Zane's World here. And this is Dad Rob. And I bought many of my fruit trees from Rob. Uh, and I learned about a lot about fruit trees from him. But I always talk about space and trees for small yards, and he told me about uh, three trees in one hole. And here's a grading. And here's uh, three trees in one hole. So how, these are three mangoes, right? Yes. How old is this <coughs> contraption? Uh, three years. Uh, three or four years. Yeah, three or four years old. So tell me about it. What was the idea behind it? Is it the first time you did it? And is it working out that you get fruit? Yeah, I mean, it's working out pretty well. You got to choose varieties that are similar in shape. Like you couldn't put a, you know, Valencia Pride next to a Julie or anything like that. So you kind of choose varieties that are similar in shape. And then you just kind of keep the branches. Like this branch has to go because it's kind of going that way. And that one. And the each one will just sort of take their one third quadrant. And get some fruit off. This is this last year was the first year we got fruit off these guys, and it's it's like it's sort of like a cocktail tree, but because when you have a cocktail tree with mangoes, the hormones are kind of funky, and so you don't always get good fruiting on those. But these are three individual trees that are just growing in the same in the same general area. Like I said, you take a little one third quadrant and fruit in that area, and you got good fruit off these. Yep. Now, as normal, these get as these get bigger, do you do you anticipate a problem? Is it going to be more work to trim it, or or you don't think it'll be it's, an issue? It'll be the same. I mean, I'm going to probably start trimming it next year and keep it smaller because you know you don't really want them to become giant trees because once they get too big, you can't reach the fruit anyway. And how what three types of trees are these? Kensington Pride is that one. This one is a Providence. What's the other one? Because uh, it's tagged in the no, same. Tagged on. Yeah, but it's in the same thing. It wore off. I don't know. Though. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we got to cut it down. Plant some well, down. once we get some fruit, we'll uh, have to. So you're saying uh, if you would have had one tree with these three mangoes grafted on them, they might not have fruited as well as having yeah, three exactly. separate trees. Yeah. So, okay. And you, now you could technically have a fourth one on this side, technically. Yeah, but the, the three the, yeah, this... seems to work better. So because three can take up a third Four, they only get a quarter. Sure, but then because again, it, two would only take up half. But it's a but, but it's a triangular thing. Like they go this way, this way, and this way. Four kind of two, starts and, to and, close in too much, and two goes sideways. And and then the two try growing too far sideways. And these, once they get bigger, they'll all graph together. So t tell me, wait, wait. So slow down. No, Why is three better than two in your opinion? Okay, because two they would sort of be more wanting to go into each other and then when they when they start filling it over here one of them's going to out -compete they're going to it's just going to become more complicated i've seen some trees out here in loxahatchee that have three in the ground probably somebody planted a polyandrionic seed and it just grew up into three trees and that's what gave me the idea in the first place is because i saw these three trees that kind of took up a, a quadrant Two trees tend to go push away from each other and just go out and, this and way. One, or one's leaning very far and, and the other one's going One grows up. more vigorously and pushes the other one over. Three kind of seems like that triangular, like the pyramid base, and it's just more anchored in the ground. Four, they don't get enough I light. Think then you end up with sort of, you basically have two sets of two. Got you. Okay, and uh, what were you saying about the grafting now? So eventually once these trunks are this big around, 
they'll all start connecting and then graft together, which we don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Yeah, or if, we, if we left this to its own devices in 20 years, one, they'd be, there, there they'd might be, only be one tree. massive and there would probably be one giant tree. Yeah. They might push each other away, and one of them might kill but they one would of the begin grafting out. together. But if you keep them smaller, then you can just keep your quadrants or your, I guess your... Yeah. Quadrants would be four, so I guess. And, we, uh, and what about is it better? To, to, is it better to have the ones to, that all season uh, give mangoes at the same time, or no, is no, this to advantage matter. of like ideally you want to have you want to have three seasons? Okay, all right. Well, there you go. And how many of three seed trees? Trees like that's our only season? one. Well, no, I've got one in a pot, but that's uh, yeah. it got buried back in. The so plant, you have so. three growing in a pot. Yeah. So you we put it in three, a pot three before you put it in the ground. Yeah, you can. Well, if you're going to sell one, you would. I got so we it. took three three guns and put them all into a, a shallow 15 gallon. So what size was this when you planted this? Three. These were three gallons. Three gallons. And how long before it got to that? Uh, three years. Three or four years. And yeah. you're getting fruit off all of them? Yeah. yeah. And there's no issue with the root system being that close? No. 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 Didn't there right. used to be a giant tree there? Yeah, there used to be a pine tree here somewhere. Uh, Are they shading anything out with this or they're no, all going to no. get enough to blow? Very nice. No, and they will naturally shade each other out and sort of take their little quad, take their little... Their little tridents, tri trigents. What about uh, if one of the trees was uh, like not resistant to a certain disease and the other one was? Would that create an issue? Or ah, uh, you would just not get fruit off that one, probably. Okay. Wow. Very cool. So that's a three and one hole tree. There you go. They're about what a foot to two feet apart from each other. About a foot apart. Yeah. Right, basically the size. You know, you size the, the size of the pot. Do you think they're so close? Will start the growing or not necessarily? Very cool. They're, they're growing. No, I mean, look, there's the super julie that was planted about the same time, and it's even smaller than they are. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the coconuts, I think, suck up a lot of the energy. Yeah, there. Got you, got you. All right. There you go, everybody. So three in one hole. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. That was pretty amazing and very interesting. And if you don't have a lot of space, probably very helpful. So check that out. If you are doing that or have done that, let me know how it turned out for you. And if you're thinking about doing that, put your comments, questions below. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to put the link to that nursery below the video as well if you want to check out all the other things I have there. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this channel. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.